If you have recovered from COVID-19 but are still experiencing some symptoms, you could have what is known as post-COVID condition. This is also referred to as long COVID sometimes. Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking to Dr. Janet Diaz today. Welcome, Janet. Janet, let's talk about the symptoms that should alert a person that they may have this condition. So some of the most common symptoms of post-COVID-19 condition, or as you said, long COVID, include uh, shortness of breath, uh, cognitive dysfunction, which uh, people call brain fog, as well as um, fatigue. Uh, those are the three most common. However, there has been more than 200 symptoms that actually have been reported in patients. So that list is quite long. So other symptoms that patients or people may experience uh, includes things such as chest pain, such as trouble speaking, uh, some have described anxiety or depression, uh, muscle aches, uh, fever, loss of smell, loss of taste. So the list is quite long, but those top three are the ones that have been described. Janet, how long does this condition last? Our understanding of the duration or of how long this condition lasts uh, is still um, not completely clear. Uh, we, it has been described that the condition can last three months. Uh, some have described as long as six months and potentially up to nine months. But as you know, we're still about one year and a half into the pandemic. Uh, there's still more studies that need to be done to follow patients who develop post-COVID-19 condition or long COVID and to see when their symptoms, we hope, resolve. Janet, what about treatment for this condition? Do we have treatments available? Any patient or person who develops uh, post-COVID-19 condition should go seek care. Uh, the care pathways uh, should be multidisciplinary in nature, meaning that they can include your primary care provider as well as uh, relevant specialists, uh, rehab professionals, social care workers, psychosocial workers, mental health professionals, and that's the type of care uh, people with post-COVID-19 condition uh, should, um, should receive. In regards to specific treatment, we don't yet have one. The reason is because we don't yet understand why this develops. So as we're learning more about the actual reason or mechanism of the disease developing, then uh, we hope to have a uh, specific treatment. Janet, what do we know so far about vaccination and post-COVID-19 condition? So there's still a lot to learn about the impacts of vaccination and post-COVID-19 condition. However, it is very clear that preventing uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection, preventing COVID-19 uh, is the best way to prevent the development of post-COVID-19 condition or long COVID. So the use of vaccines, uh, we know, reduces hospitalization, reduces mortality. And so all those that are eligible should do that. Public health measures such as uh, mask wearing in the appropriate places, uh, physical distancing, hand washing, are also extremely important to prevent uh, COVID-19. Thank you, Janet. That was Dr. Janet Diaz. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.